Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and to a video I wasn't expecting to make for a while as Bethesda have sneaked a few mods in through the back door. Essentially, these three were meant to have been in the last release, but they were tugged at the last minute. So in this video, we'll be looking at the brand new Elven Hunter Light Armor mod, which is a creation that adds an alternative variant of Elven Armor, and it's based on the Blaze free-to-play game. But this one is a little bit different from the other armor sets, and we'll see if that's a good thing or not later on. Anyway, I'm the Oggy Man and I'll be looking in detail at all the mods offered by Creation Club so you get an idea whether they are worth your hard-earned cash or not. If you want to see more reviews and game tips like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and please leave a comment or a like. And seeing as YouTube doesn't promote little channels like this anymore, it would be great if you could share the videos around as it really, really helps the channel out. So first things first, the quest was by Area 51's most famous guest, Chris Takahashi, who like the Yeti, many believe is a mythical creature that doesn't actually exist. And this costs a princely sum of 100 credits, which is one dollar or roughly around 85 pennies. Basically, it's cheap as a cheap thing. And we'll do this in a similar way to the Daedric Mail Armor video with a brief run through of the quest, have a look at the stats and I'll give my thoughts at the end. So let's crack on. And as usual, on downloading the mod, you'll have a miscellaneous quest put into your journal. And this one requests that you look for bounty information at Falkreath Barracks. On the table are a couple of notes and a journal. Read them and you'll be tasked to kill Azrael. So the quest is simply to find him, kill him and loot the armour. Okay, so we've got the armor. Let's take a quick look at it. And um, I'm gonna be completely honest here and say, I don't like this at all. It looks too messy. It doesn't seem to offer anything better, aesthetically speaking. The textures seem very rough for a paid mod. And I don't for the life of me understand why this doesn't come with a helmet or some equivalent. I mean, maybe the armor's so highly rated, it doesn't need one, we'll see later. Anyway, I just don't see where my money is in this set. Of course, this is just my opinion and obviously some people may like it. Anyway, let's take a look at the stats. Now, first things first, the armor set is craftable by the player, which is great as you can upgrade your armor as you level up. So it'll see you through the whole game. Um, the stats are, uh, armor is raised at 31 with a weight of four. Gauntlets are raised at 10 with a weight of one and boots are rated at 10 again with a weight of one. Now all these stats are rated two above the Elven Armour counterparts, but the Elven Hunter Armour is four less than the Gilded Elven Armour, which is 35. Now the very strange thing about this, it doesn't come with a helmet, so even though the base stats are higher, overall this gives less protection than the standard Elven Armour. I think the mod author should have included something like an armoured circlet or something like that to uh, complete the set. So as this is an unusual uh, combination, a bit like the Daedric set, uh, let's take a look at how this affects the light armour perks, custom fit and matching set.
Okay, uh, so what do I think of this armor? Well, I'm going to be truthful here. I don't like it. I don't think it looks good. Uh, so the poor textures really stand out. It looks like it was cobbled together in an hour or two. I think the stats are poor. And even though you can use a standard helmet, I don't understand why it didn't come with a helmet crater for the set. Or even, as I said before, an armor circle or something equivalent to that. It does somehow manage to allow you to get the custom fit perk, which is something, I guess. Um, it just doesn't offer anything from what I can see, and I just don't see the value in this mod at all. But this is just my perspective, and I know some of you will like it, but personally, I wouldn't get this unless I had 100 credits lying around doing nothing. Even then, though, I'd probably save them for something else. Anyway, on that super cheerful note, I hope you like the video, and I'll catch you later. Love you.